Hello and welcome back to Hobby Fist Struggles through GeoGuessr to get that 20,000 point marker uh, in the brand new year of 2018 with the first video ever put out this year. We hold that record. And now we are put... I don't know where the hell this is. This is Dirt Road and Mountains. I'm hopefully, when they say hard, they, they were not kidding with this. We look at person. Where did person go? I need to stare at you to know that where we are. This may be South America. This also could be Southeast Asia. I don't know. Is there anything on this on this telephone pole? Well, they use English here, or, or the... English letters. I don't, it, it's probably not called English letters. I can't think of what it's called now. Hey, we got some signage here. This says Playa Grande. The big players live here. Um, so this definitely South America. Are we, are we going to go with the mountainous region of mountainous yet still on the, no, I don't know if that's Tropical or arid. Alcada. So the I nah, I don't know if that's Brazil. Again, Portugal, Portuguese and Spanish. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to distinguish. Uh, we're gonna look to see if there's shirts here. Maybe are they drying their clothes? They are. Anything on the clothes that'll help me out. Does not look it. All right. Maybe this is Brazil. I don't know. Cars, help me out. Car, what do you got on you? You got nothing? Is that a flag? Nope, that's just a uh, pioneer with some reflective tape. You gotta wash. That is, um, I think we might be Peru because these things, if I'm trying to remember right, are uh, things you can see from way up high in the air. And they were like natives. Um, what are they called? The They're like mounds they actually put into the ground. And they're actually like um, things they built that really you could only see if you actually were high up in the air. And them actually planting this stuff out and having it work without having the ability to fly that high. Is uh, pretty impressive, honestly. And it's another Mitsubishi. I'm not seeing anything. I'm still going to stick with uh, Peru. So I feel like those things... As, look, it's a tuk-tuk, so it's got to be the Philippines, huh? Right? Yeah, of course. We're not making that mistake again. Unless this turns out to be the Philippines, and then I'm just going to be so upset. But I'm just going off that one little thing in the back of a car that really has nothing to do with anything that those uh, mounds, I forget what they're actually called, are definitely an American thing. Whether or not it's North America or South America is up to debate. But I feel like those were in Peru. And I, without having any way of verifying that right now, other than what this map's going to show up as, I feel I've made a well enough decision. I need to see... This is... Oh, I can't make out what that is. Usually, you can sometimes tell what the beer they have. Claro. Claro was a Brazilian telecommunications company, wasn't it? I remember seeing those signs. So I'm just going to hedge my bet and put me in the country of Brazil and see what happens. I shouldn't have double-guessed myself. I was right with the country to start with. God damn it. I gotta divorce my gut feeling from my brain feeling, because it's it's not it's not paying off very well. Even if one is significantly larger than the other one. I gotta be like, shut up gut. You're not help why did the camera do that? Am I gonna see any road sign? With letter Stazo. Blata. Viale Stazio. Is this Italy? Italia of some sort. 
I'm going to put us there for now. Is that like a cliff to nothing? We're near water. I can't see enough of it to know how much water. But this feels like a Italian town of some sort because everything ends in an A. And even if it didn't speak... Oh, wait. Now I, now I don't know if this is Italy. There's a thing I noticed when I was in... Uh, we've got... We've got trash can. Trash can's got information. But photo did not take place next to a trash can, so. There's a thing I've noticed. H-E-R-A. When I was in um, Macedonia. Wow, this just turned into nothing. Are we going to get Anzio Vande? This is a gel gelateria, so I think that's gelato. They have gelato in India. India. Italy. Aquaparco. That um, feels like one of the... It's either Genoa, Milan. Like this... I feel like this symbol, like the coat of arms, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to mark right there. Then it feels like it's something Italian. That's definitely what it feels like to me. But we're right on the outskirts of it. But anyway, going back to what I was talking about, Macedonia is... There's really no parking, like parking spots when you get into towns like around those giant um, apartment buildings. We are definitely on the edge of town. I'm going to hit home and go back. Like, yes, this happens in town. But also, they give themselves a large enough window of grass around their cars or around their cars around their apartment buildings so they just park right on the grass there so what a lot of people seem to imply from that is green light for every like sidewalk every uh um every little space that people don't walk on or people could walk on or cars won't drive through it's where you can you can park your cars there you're, you're totally okay to do that so, hey, look, we're in London, apparently. I guess I was wrong this entire time. But, is that Joan Baez? That is Joan Baez. We're going to have an in evening with... Uh, yeah, I feel like this is Italian, because I think that's... July? Or she's saying she's ugly 13, which is really, really mean of them. Uh, Porto Futori. I got 32 seconds. Um, Lugulio. I don't know if I'm going to see anything that tells me. Punta Mar... Is this like the one of the islands? I don't know anymore. It'll put us down here. Just so I can hedge bet. Click button! Fucking gut again. Hey, look, it did Punta Marina right there. You know, our, this is... Well, we got 4,000 this time. I don't know if it's going to be enough to... Well, great. We're inside a house. Now, someone want to tell me why they felt it was important to put this as something you would need for GeoGuessr? Or why is this part of Google Maps? We're in a photo studio. And I... The only thing I know that I've heard from this is... Generally, either the one photo areas or like the super tiny areas. It's either Germany... Or it's India. And... We're... Either in Germany or German or held... Um, colony, and I don't know if Germany really colonized too much compared to the rest of them. It was the Dutch caught into LA just because everyone else was. I dislike this sign. Prince is parking only. I don't know why I'm being bitter like that. There is literally nothing I can suss out from this other than hey, it's German. Unless one of these computer screens tells me anything, and it does not. What about this one? We're in the Hertz, Hertz Blut. 
Uh, I don't know what Blute is. I'm just going to say Heartbleed. Or Hertz is in that way to measure electrical current or voltage. I don't know if there's a difference. We're not going to get anything else from this. I'm going to make my guess that the center of Germany. Riddle me this. Oh. Apparently we were in Nordlingen. How was I to know that this was the town hall of Gemeginde Remlingen? Gemeginde Ramekin. So there's a little tip that you can take away with you when you do one of these. It's generally either going to be one of these two countries if it's just like a little isolated area like that or it's just one photo and you really can't move around. It's one of the two countries of Germany or India. Don't ask me why. That was a... This is just Crow Town. Jesus Christ, there's so many crows here. Look at them all. Just a murder of crows everywhere. But I... Again, I... I'm having this problem with being, why are we like listing off to the side here? This is making me feel weird. This is probably Russia, isn't it? This is probably Russia, isn't it? But if it's ever one of those two, it's either India or Germany. Sorry, I'm just finishing the thought. I don't know if I did, but in my old age, I'm just kind of doing it just to reaffirm that even if I didn't finish it, or if I did and I forgot because my memory's terrible. Now we're going to get some signs, and it's all going to be in Cyrillic. Oh, Russia. It's been a while. It's been a while, Russia. We're at the Pro... Roma... Or Romanovsky... Ral... Rayon? That's R-O-M-A-N-O-V-S-K-I-I. Romanovsky. R-A-I-O-N. Rayon? Ryan? Oh. This is... This is a really... Well, it's definitely Soviet. But this just... It, this just bleeds... Russian architecture. I think it's brutalism. Well, brutalism's kind of just uh, um, really just gray concrete everywhere. And just looking at this giant sign, I'm going to go back to it quick because you know, this is Russia. I don't know where the fuck we are in Russia here, but I'll back up. My uh, deft touch with the mouse clicker apparently isn't all that great. But all Russian signs kind of follow this same structure of it's really wide and in one narrow spot. They put corrugated sheet metal there just to give a effect and really bold blocky letters. And of course, the hammer and sickle. That's A L T A E L T A E. I forgot what when they put the line over that. I don't know if that's supposed to be the curved and they just didn't bother with it because it's blocky as fuck. But we're going to put ourselves over here somewhere because who the fuck knows. Maybe the sign. Nothing. None of it is in English here. And that's A-V-T Avtomo b l i v d ugh d o r o G I Drogori. I don't know. Apparently, you're gonna call them. They don't have many phone numbers here, I guess. Or you can fax. That's F A K S. Telephone. Just dial two two five five one, and it'll give you. I should actually call this up and see if they'll answer. And tell me where the hell they are. And I don't think I'm gonna find any more. Oh, we've got Mama Tor Mamo. Oh, yep. Oh, we're on the edge of Kazakhstan. Silly me. Again. How was I to know? Gilliv Log. I award you one star, and may God have mercy on my soul. Last round, there is zero way we're going to get 20,000 on this. This was a rough one. 
Well, we are AsianDesignConcepts.com. Makes me think we're in this massive con continent that's split in half somewhere around the Urals, which I think may be over here more. Um, looking at the foliage of the area makes me feel we are in the tropical region, which would narrow half the continent. Watch this deduction I'm doing here. Now this language, very well, and also the elephant here, and this lettering makes me feel, while it could be India, like a lot of Indian lettering has like, it feels like they write a, one thick line across, and then they just hang little letters below it, but now that I look at this more, this very well could be India as well. So we're, we're here. This section of the, the world, we're here. And can I get onto the road? Okay, I can. Thank you. We are going... I spent 1 minute 15 seconds deducing that much. And now I'm spending the rest. Hopefully... Uh, nope, this doesn't help me. This could be India. This very well might be India. But I'm not seeing enough. This, it, I'm already done so bad here. Oh, wait, no, that's definitely not India. So now we are in Thailand. Exactly, we're in Thailand. Who knows? Thailand's a big country. And if I want to sit here and try to do these hieroglyphics and let me be specific about why I should be down in your South Seas, but I do have this notion that the motion of your ocean does read small craft advisory. That's a little spoken word for you on this. When am I recording this? Sunday. Yeah, that's right. So the day before. Uh, throwing darts at a dartboard, as I did in my previous video. For everyone, I get super lucky with... Uh, this is showing section of the world. No, that's a horse. Okay. Is horse a thing they use for Muay Thai? Maybe it's a box. Uh, they're kickboxing over there. Now, if you want to watch something, this is an embassy or delegate or a school of some sort. If you ever want to watch something really, really cool and uh, pretty impressive, a lot of kickboxers like to... Uh, show off their strength, and they have all the right to, Jesus Christ, the amount of work they put themselves through to get to this point. They can cut trees down with their feet. Like, they kick a tree, and they chop it down. You know, you can be like, oh, it's actually just a banana tree, or it's a weird-looking pine uh, palm tree. But the fact still remains, they used their leg to knock a tree down. You can, like, poo-poo all that, all you want. You just go ahead and you try doing that yourself. They've earned the right to physically kick down one of these things. And they do it in very vicious and quick fashion. This is a really cool looking temple. Jesus. Just built. I feel... Well, making my guess. Oh, we're up in the... In the border town. Okay. Okay. Whatever, it didn't matter. I wasn't gonna... There was no way I could... I didn't see numbers anywhere. We're next to the paper store. The only one that l exists in this entire country. It looked pretty. Four stars. You earned it. I didn't earn it this time. This is one of the worst rounds I've had. And I really... It wasn't all that off that much. Except for this one I fucked up. Fuck you, Russia. All the rest were okay. And then... The Germany one. I wish I could, like... Thumbs down everything for this, because... I didn't do that great. Not a great way to start the year. Hopefully, it just means we're going to only be able to go up from here. But, 20,000 points. It was in my grasp once. Never was in this in this video. But, come back for uh, Wednesday and we'll take another crack at it. But, in the meantime, thank you all for watching. If you could, please, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. All that fun stuff everyone else on YouTube asks you to do. But, uh... Thank you for spending the 
short amount of time. This one was a quick one. The short amount of time I had with this one as I grumbled my way through it. We're going to try again on Wednesday. We'll see you then.